Leo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This is going to be for June 17th all the way to June, 3rd, uh, June 23rd, so welcome. We've got a big week ahead of us, but I got a little announcement I'd like to make, please. Drum roll. Wednesday, June 19th. The freaking weekend is back. That's right, Leo. You're not only getting a weekly reading on Sunday, but on Wednesday, you're getting the weekend forecast for all the signs, including our beautiful Leo selves. And that's when I can kind of let loose. You know what I mean? It's going to be a fun reading. You know, you want serious reading? This is where it's at. But on the freaking weekend, I'm going to allow myself to be Goofy Jeff. And if any of you Leos have experienced Goofy Jeff, well, you're in for a fuck of a treat. So, <laughs> and it's just because this is my time of year, man. I mean, is it your time of year also, guys? I mean, oh, I'm just in love with everything. This is what I live for, is this time of year. So, Let's talk about the astrology that's going on. We've got a lot of things going on this week. A lot of energy is shifting. Energy is presenting itself. It is going to illuminate a lot of things and we are going to roll with it. So let's begin. Leo, June 17th, the planet of communication, Mercury, is moving into Cancer. We've got two planets and a luminary moving into Cancer. We're coming out of air, mental energy, into water feeling energy emotions so we're shifting from a mental state to an emotional state you can look at yourself as for this time may to june we're thinking about what to do and in the middle of june we shift to what we feel we need to do or express how we feel you know make it real and so we have not only Mercury, the planet of communication, moving into Cancer, but we also have the planet of love, Venus, moving into Cancer also. So this is going to be a much more expressive energy. Even though Gemini is an expressive sign, we're moving more into, well, it, you know, again, emotional waters run deep. So you have to find that balance here. And when I just did Aries reading, I mean, they got like four cards that said balance. And then got the angel numbers for balance, which is 666, not the fucking Antichrist, but it's balance. So, you know, we're no exception because, you know, it, it affects fire signs and and cancer is right before us. So it's a little, you know, it's more subconscious for us. But again, we're moving into an air mental state into an emotional state. And that could be tumultuous. There's a reader that I watch and he always, he always uses big words and tumultuous. He uses that a lot. The Wolfman experience, check him out. He's pretty cool. Leo, you know, he's got that Latin accent. Leo, this is your tarot card reading. <laughs> anyway, but he says tumultuous a lot. I count how many times he says it in the reading. <laughs> Anyway, so a few days later, June 20th, Focus Jeff, is the summer solstice. And that is one of the four times of year that I celebrate. I really do. I really do. I, uh, I, do, I meditate. I put out meditations. I have a spiritual uh, little weekend going on for that weekend. And this is when the sun moves into cancer. This is when summer starts. Summer's officially here. The sun has finally moved into our zone in the Northern Hemisphere that just bestows us with beauty, warmth, and oh, I love it. But it's also a time to connect. This is four times of the year, spring, summer, fall, and winter. You can't deny that. You know, each season affects us differently. Really think about that. What does the summer do for you? It makes you excited. It makes you want to do things. You know, it's very rare that a Leo is going to lounge around the house. Although I like to do that once in a while. I like to like on a nice summer afternoon when I don't have anything to do. I like to like sit and watch Jaws or like Return of the Jedi shit that I used to watch when I was a kid. <laughs> I just I never grow up. I, I, I refuse to. 
and it works well for me. So, uh, yeah, summer solstice, I, you know, I turn into a kid. I still have that. Let me, let me know in the comments if you have this too, where like the summer comes around, like I've been out of school. I've been out of high school for like 30 years. So I think even longer than that. And, uh, around this time, I, I want to be on summer vacation. You know what I'm saying? Even though I I work every day, I I get this, this attitude, like every day is summer vacation. Let's go on an adventure. And, oh, it just overtakes me. But there's a balance that needs to be found in that. And the summer solstice is an excellent time to celebrate. It's equal day, equal night, longest day of the year. So get out there and enjoy yourself. It's right before the weekend. You can do it for the weekend too. You don't have to do it on Thursday if you don't have time. But I really implore you to go outside, get some sun because that's the only way our body can absorb vitamin D. So if you're chucking down horse pills with 7,000 milligrams of vitamin D, you're just passing those. Your body's not absorbing it. So vitamin D, best way, sunshine. Don't let them fool you and don't put on sunscreen. That's what's giving you cancer, not the sun. Isn't it just ironic that everything on this planet desperately needs the sun And we're the only fucking species that will just get cancer from it. (sighs) The lies, the lies, the lies. Truly, really, really. I'm a tanning expert. That's what I did in my previous life. I ran a tanning bed chain for a while. Managed it, everything. Did everything. And I've educated myself on that because that's what I do. I just don't follow along. I do my fucking research. And let me tell you something, folks. You need sunlight. You need it. It boosts your immune system. It releases endorphins and fucking everything that you need. So get out there and celebrate. Get out on the earth. Lay in the grass. Have a good time. Even if you you don't have to throw a shindig, just give yourself a half an hour to just lay on the grass and become a kid again and not worry about anything and just release. Speaking of releasing, the next day is the full moon. So you're going to be feeling it whether you fucking want to or not. That's right. Friday, we're having a full moon. So holy shit, the freaks are coming out at night. And it's in Capricorn, so it could be a little serious. And it's going to be happening in our collective eighth house, which has a lot to do with healing. Um, It also has to do with debt, other people's money, dialing down debt, focusing on balancing that out. It's, It's hitting the books. It's a little serious, but tremendous healing can come out of this if you give yourself the time to do it. That's my prediction for us. Give yourself the time to heal. And when I say heal, that doesn't mean go to the hospital. What that means is get outside, get on the ground, no shoes, take those fucking rubber soles off get barefoot, lay on the grass. You have no idea how beneficial it is for us to connect with the earth. And the earth is aligning with the sun and everything is in perfect harmony at this time of year. Embrace it. That's why I'm such a freak about it. You know what I mean? Because it affects me in a very profound way. It's almost like a jump point. We get four jump points in the year use this. I have summer solstice meditations going all the way back, I think to 2022, 20, I think 2020. And they're still relevant. Use them, use them. Even if you just play them in the background, you know what I mean? I'm not offended, but use them. And this full moon is a bringing things to light about how much self-care and and healing that we need to do. And where's the self-talk? Where are we stuck? in our mental attitude and where are we stuck in our feelings? Because Capricorn shines down this serious light of, dude, you got to take care of this. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean you got to fucking not have fun. It's a time to go out, have fun. That's what I'm doing. All right, Leo, I told you this was going to be a big week. So we had to talk about it. And it's all going to make sense once we hit the cards. I mean, do you feel the excitement and the vibe in my voice? I'm jacked about this. And you should be too, especially because you're a Leo. You know what I mean? We are ruled by the sun. We are ruled by the sun. Without it, we are nothing. Give it thanks. 
All right. Bottom of the deck. The sun. You can't make this shit up. Look at that. That's us. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Actually, after you watch the freaking weekend on Wednesday, yeah, you're going to be feeling like that. You see how they're connecting? You see that they're barefoot on the ground? Leo, pay attention. I hope the weather's great where you are. I hope it is where we are too. You never fucking know. Because yesterday it was 57 degrees. I was like, is it fucking November again? And then all of a sudden it's like 84. So if you hear lawnmowers outside, that's because everyone's hustling to get their grass done. <laughs> Oops, that one. Where the hell did that go? Oh, it came right back at me. All right, what else do we have? Yeah, look at that moon card. That go. That's cancer energy right there. Listen, listen, Leo. Don't let the feels fuck you up. Or you could be in the feels, but when the moon comes out, it's almost like a deceptive energy, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, what do we got? Did I get all those cards? Yes. <sighs> Not really. All right. God, I don't even know where to fucking begin with this. Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. See, now this is a, this is a weird message, but no, that's because okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, Leo, pay attention to three, three, three. That's growth, bitch. That's growth. What we need to work on, what we need to embrace, and the outcome. And the outcome looks pretty goddamn racy, pretty fast. Things happening, new beginnings. But we got to work on this. The tower, the moon, the queen of swords. This is a big deal. Full moon. Okay? Now, it looks like you have a decision to make. Okay? It looks like we have a decision to make. And I, we don't need to let things, the tower kind of, things happen suddenly. It's about how we're going to react to things and how we, you know, are we going to, th this is, you know, this is the Gemini and the Cancer energy personified. Here's the Gemini energy and here's the Cancer energy. And I, and I believe that we need to have a balance of our emotions and our thoughts and we can't repeat the past by fearing that we are. So that's number one. We cannot deceive ourselves into thinking something's over. You know what I mean? It's just like the queen of swords embodies, you know, it, it kind of shows the solution here. And it bridges over to what needs to be uh, harnessed is, <laughs> I don't know. I think the, the situation kind of keeps you shook, but you're not looking back at the past. This is not happening to you again. You are cutting all cords from the past. You are, I believe, rising above this emotional sinking. And you know what I mean? Because it's a choice. You know, don't let situations, here's the message, don't let situations make you sink. It's time to stand your ground, speak your truth, and it takes a new way of thinking. And Eight of Cups, so the Ace of Swords, we got two Aces, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a new mindset here with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This is a new mindset, a, a victory mentality. And we're walking away from things that no longer serve us. We're walking away from the self-deception. We're walking away from the reactionary freakouts that we do. We're walking away from not speaking our truth and speaking our truth and speaking up. And it's funny, I had a reading today by a friend and 
a lot was focused on the throat chakra. And those flags right there are the sacral, the uh, solar plexus, and the throat chakra. So what this is saying is, is, you know, speak your truth. Speak it into existence. Walk away from what no longer serves you. And what I think what it is, is not so much a situation, but a way of looking at the situation. Okay? Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. Slow and steady. What's the rush? See, because this is where it jammed me up because we got slow and steady and we got really fast. And then we have the chariot. And it's like, well, what the fuck? But I think, you know, once we 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 pull ourselves out of this mental anguish because our emotions are getting in the way, it's self-deception, Leo. Okay? When we walk away from it, we take a winning attitude, new approach to it, and then we plant those seeds and the opportunity shows. And then the energy moves fast. You see what I'm saying? So it's, and, 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 I, and eight of wands here, I've been seeing eight and seven. This is when things take off, is July and August, our season. So again, an eight. August, plant the seeds now. Things will be hitting in August. Ace of Wands, big wood energy, the chariot. There ain't two horses pulling that. They're both. And you see the symbolism here. Good. Thank you, Spirit, for, for showing me that. Is you have the black wolf and the white wolf howling at the moon. Showing the uh, light and dark. And then you have the horses pulling the chariot to victory. So we are victorious over our emotions and instead of oh we're like fuck yeah you know <laughs> we're fucking running so nice symbolism there guys thank you but let's not do the freak out you know th this looks like concentrated mental energy i got this i my thoughts create my reality that ace of swords pictation is very beautiful and the Queen of Swords ain't fucking around, you know. The Eight of Cups is walking away from energy that does not serve us. And it is okay. You will you will move into a better energy. Oh, my God. Are we 17 minutes already? You know what I'm saying? I Listen, I, I warned you guys that this was a big week. And why should I rush through this? Why should I give you a 10 fucking minute reading? You know what I mean? Especially when I babbled for three minutes. So, <laughs> you know, it all evens out. It's a beautiful day. I'm in the vibe and it's Leo time. You know, I love being a Leo. I embrace that shit. When I was younger, I embraced the defensive ego stance of it and the vanity of it. Now, um, in my older years, I've embraced it, you know. So it looks like we're, you know, having to deal with some emotional issues here. And that's good because when we work on things, things work out for us. When you put in the work, the universe pays off in spades. Yeah, absolutely. Pay attention. Another eight, 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 eight. Let's look that up. Angel number 888. Okay. Abundance and prosperity. 888 is strongly associated with abundance, prosperity, and financial success. Um, also, your love life is attracting a positive and healthy relationship. Sweet. We could all use that. And it's really weird, 888 and the full moon is taking place in your eighth house. Pay attention, Leo. Pay attention. There's there's symbolism here. There's little hidden messages for you. July and August is a rapid approach to what you want. But right now, it's about getting our emotions right and disciplining our mental discipline. And especially that full moon in Capricorn is all about discipline. Trapped in fear. 
This is what we need to work on. This is what we need to heal. Thank you, Spirit, for giving us that. How? How? Rest and rejuvenate. Getting out in nature. That is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be trapped in the house watching Bridgerton, which I would never watch, but, you know, fuck that. I'm getting outside and connecting. And I'm going to be using my spiritual strength. Why? Because this is a spiritual week. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Look at this. With hope and light, focusing on that, that beautiful solar plexus energy brings balance that we so sorely need. And, and that's the thing. I'm realizing in my personal life that because I am so like, it's summer, let's go out. We're planning this. We're going here. We're going here. We're going here. You know, I, I rarely go out. And now I'm, I'm, I'm like a dog off the leash. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm chasing fucking cars down the street. It's, it, you know, it's like, I, I got to balance that out because it suffers. And especially if I'm going to be doing the freaking weekend by Wednesday and posting that and editing it, I got to get my shit together, but I've got this kid mentality, but I have hope that I can balance this out. I'm already, I'm already finding out that that's what I need to do, you know? And here's another message, uh, a waiting game. The clock is ticking. We have another ace. We got the ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the ace of cups. Again, pointing to self-love, self-care. The waiting game is, don't worry, things are working as they should, slow and steady. You walk away from a mindset that no longer serves you. With hope and light brings balance. Light will wash away negative energy. It will literally burn it out. All right. Wow. 21 minutes and counting because I love you. It's true. It's true. I fucking love Leo's. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I got it. Anything else? There we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Another fucking eight. Dedicated effort. We'll get to that. Hold on. Hold on. Sadness and isolation. Okay, it's it's becoming apparently clear here what's going on. Let's not Bella Swan this shit, all right? Let's get out and... Find ourselves a Jacob. <laughs> uh, release. It's time to release. Everything is pointing to a great self-healing. The eighth house with the full moon. A structured release to, to get rid of these negative uh, aspects and to really double down on your faith and the trust in the universe and your manifestation skills. Because we cannot get what we want if we're trapped in fear and sadness and isolation. We need to cleanse ourselves with that. And there's a self-deception going on that we need to change our mental attitude and no longer let it into our lives. So walk away from it. And holy shit. With dedicated effort, you take the lead. Look at, again, there's that light. Looking at, look at, it's, it's like a process here. I mean, I've, I'm fucking in love with this reading. Look at that. You're reaching up for it. You take the lead by grabbing it, Prometheus, and you're holding it in your hand. Oh my God. That's where you find the balance. And you're putting in the effort. Man, this reading is incredible. This reading is incredible. I, I, I would love to make this the thumbnail. I mean, look at... That's us, Leo. Get outside. Oh my God. And do this. We got the 19th. Seven plus three, 17 plus three. That's 20. Make the solar, make the uh, solar eclipse, make the summer solstice a very spiritual time for you. And I guarantee, Leo, that we will all vibe up, raise our vibration, 
and relinquish a lot of things that is self-imposed, that is holding us back, that will bring us balance and so many new beginnings. A new beginning that moves fast this summer. A new beginning, a new beginning that in love, it's just going to take some time and some effort. So with that being said, damn, now let's look at love. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Five of Cups. That sadness and isolation, that disappointment. It's a time to let it go. Ten of Swords. Release what no longer serves you. Set yourself free. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. This is a time to go within, to do some self-care in this relationship, to get some introspective uh, introspection. And the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups shows that moving towards this beautiful energy here in this relationship. But you may have to release some thoughts, patterns, anything like that, that takes you out of balance, takes your light away from you. But you have new beginnings coming here. There's no doubt about that in relationships. Something that's long-lasting. And re letting go of something that isn't. That doesn't serve you. Let's get some messages of love. Wow. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Allow yourself to work on this. Passion. Try something you've never done before. <sighs> this is great. And leap of faith. It's safe to make your move you're considering. But with de dedicated effort and take some time. And the waiting game is the universe is waiting for you to do your healing. And to let that go. And start embracing, em, embracing, start embracing things that you're passionate about. And take that leap of faith. Go for that light. Let it wash over you because these new beginnings here, Leo, this is incredible. This is incredible. All right, let's get some closing messages for you. I love you so much. I feel almost, I don't know. I, I, I feel kind of like a, like a sad happy, like a releasing happy. I almost have tears in my eyes. Like the energy shifted here when I saw this. And let me tell you something, Leo. You deserve a relationship. Oof, I'm getting, wow. I'm getting emotional. Um, so pay attention to the message here. You deserve a relationship that is going to light you and inspire you. And, uh, wow, I've never had this happen before. Um, and it, and it's time to let go of the fear that you're never going to have that, or you've made the wrong choice. It's time to believe in yourself. It's time to know that the universe is working in your favor. You have to believe that. And if you are in a relationship that is, is dimming your light, you deserve better. All right. <laughs> and when you decide and take your time, something beautiful is going to replace that horrible energy that you allowed yourself to be in. All right. I, that, that's the message. Now all of a sudden I feel better. Wow. That was, uh, I'm speechless and I hope that resonated for someone out there. I hope that helped because that was very emotional. This is something that needs to be taken care of, guys. We don't deserve to sit in this any longer. Release it. I'm telling you, it works. It works. I did mine last summer. 
really. And I'm, and there's more that I have to do. I know that, but look at what's available to us. It's fuck. It's fucking about time. Let's get a closing message before I start fucking balling. <laughs> wow. All right. Whew. Thank you, spirit. Give. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. And see, this is the problem with us, is that we so willingly give to others, even when they don't deserve it. We still think that giving them more of our light will somehow light them up. That's not true for a lot of people. And that's something that you have to understand. And you're giving to the wrong person. You should be giving to yourself. You're no good to anybody else if you are not loving yourself with as much equal value. Remember that. That's what I'm working on right now. So give to yourself. Miracles. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you, Leo. Be on the lookout for them. Focus on the light, not the dark. Guys, man, that really shook me up. <laughs> that was very emotional for me. I'm going to tell you something right now. It's 31 minutes. And I have never, ever, in the time that I have been doing these readings, that I have gotten that emotional. So it's it's not so much for me. The message is for me. It's for you. So please pay attention to this. All right? This is a monumental time for you. Embrace it. I feel it. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you know you deserve it? <laughs> it's about time you give it to yourself. All right, listen. Man, I got to... Okay, I think I'm done for the night. Wow, that is, that, that's a beautiful reading, Leo. I, I really hope you appreciate it. Okay, uh, happy summer solstice. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, put I claim it in the comments. <laughs> and uh, wow, I will uh, see you next week. <laughs> Holy shit.